Okay, welcome back. Today we are going to install the main strings. We're going to start installing the main strings in a two-piece pattern in a 16 by 19 racket. So I have my 20 feet of string, which I have pre-cut. And now I'll take my cutters and actually cut the ends so they are sharp and at an angle because then it will be able to be installed in the holes a lot easier. So we know that the racket with the 16 by 19 patterns, we have six holes at the bottom, at the throat, so that the center two will actually create the loop that we have been talking about as well. And um, we have the racket secure in the machine. We checked the bars to make sure that they, the bolts are secure. We made sure that the, the racket is secure since this is a two-point mount we want to make sure that it is secure because um, with two-point mounts you can generally uh, damage a racket even more if something was to happen. The string through and at, as we are pulling the string through we are also taking our other hand and guiding the string so with our right hand we are guiding it so it doesn't knot up or twist around corners. So now we have our center center in the bottom and we have the both strings that come out on the top. Alright, so if you see this simple illustration here, we can also look at how to start the, the clamping of the main strings. So here you have the loop on the bottom and again that's you actually have six holes on the bottom. And so the loop will go here and so the string will go through the center two and the string will come out at the top actually right up here and that's your half a set of string. So then what you do is you would take the side on the right and you loop it straight back in here so you're basically looping the string back in here and then you're going halfway through but you do not go all the way through to the throat because that's where you're going to put your starting pin as you can see right there. So you're just going to loop that halfway through and your first clamp will attach to the string here near the frame and to this half string which is kind of just hanging there. So that's where you're first clamping. Then what you will do is you will pull this loop out right here on this first string. So you are actually securing this string. See the string that is right up here clamped? You will actually secure that string. So you will pull it and your first pull will be down here. That's where you're pulling with the machine. And then, I'm sorry, you're actually pulling this string. Oops. All right, I could do that over. All right. All right, so once you've clamped up here and you've clamped this half string onto the first main, then you'll follow this down and see this is where the loop is. So you're actually going to pull the loop out and you're going to tighten this string with the machine. And once you do so, then you'll put the straightening or the uh, starting pin inside of the hole next to that. And so then you will secure the second clamp onto this string and the starting pin. So now you have this this string right here is tight it's taut right and that's your first string then what you will do is take this string which has this loop right so you're going to pull the loop tight again and pull up here and then you are going to pull this as your second string okay this is going to be the second one that you tighten so what you're going to do then is you're going to take this clamp because now you've got this string as being tight, right? So you re you take this clamp off and you basically take this and put the clamp right next to the other clamp. So you're clamping on this string and then you're clamping on this string. So now you have both of these two strings are being tight. So you have the center two strings and then you will pull one more on this side then you will alternate and go to this side until then you'll have two on both and then you keep alternating two until you have all 16 of the mains tight. 
main. So we're going to let that go. And now we have two strings which are taut. And we are now going to put this clamp as close to the other clamp as we can. And again, about halfway down. And we are securing the clamp. Taking out the starting pin. And now we're not going to need the starting pin. Release the tension on the tension head. And so now you can see we have one string on each side. And we are now set to string two on each side, alternating sides. So we're going to go ahead and continue on threading the string through. And so the last one, we'll, the last time that we pulled, we pulled on the top. So now we're pulling again on the bottom. And then we'll have two tight strings on one side. So we're going to put it in our tensioner. Being careful again not to let it get stuck inside. Pull, let the weight tension the string, release the clamp, take the clamp, tighten it down here as close to the frame as you can, releasing the pressure. And so now you have two strings on this left side. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and tension the right side, two strings. So now I'm going to take this string, which did not go all the way through here earlier because that's where our starting pin was. And again, we're going to go under. And we know that this was the last string tensioned up here, right? So now we're going to make sure we, we're down here tensioning. So it's just alternating top, bottom putting the string in our tensioner, pulling back, letting the weight. And now I'm going to release this clamp. And as you can see, we have this starting clamp here, I mean this uh, floating clamp here. And so I'm going to go as close to it as I can. And we're going to go right there. Because this one's a little bit it had moved a little bit crooked there, so. All right. So now you can see we have two strings on each side of the center, and they're tightened. And now what you're going to do is you're going to alternate. Since we have two on this side, now you're going to go back to this side and do two. Then you're going to go two until you have all 16 mains secured in the racket. And we'll continue that in the next video. So again. This had six holes at the throat, so the center um, loop is on the bottom. If this had eight holes on the bottom, the loop would be at the top, and you would have pulled the strings through this way.